Hello and welcome back to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren, returning with yet another video on Aruba's dynamic segmentation inside out. In this video I will show you how to configure dynamic secondary user roles. The good thing is that most of the configuration is already done. I've done that in the previous videos, so I just have to show you how to configure the roles on ClearPass. If you want to see how to configure the downloadable user roles for the mobility controllers, please check out video 6 and that's starting from uh, about the 35th minute and link is on uh, the video now. And if you don't know what dynamic downloadable user roles are, please check out video 4 starting from like say 8 minutes 22 seconds and uh, I explain there what the dynamic secondary user roles are. The lab setup is exactly the same as in the previous videos, so let's dive straight into the configuration. For dynamic downloadable user roles there is no configuration requirement on the switches, so it will utilize the same configuration as the static downloadable user roles. So we only have to configure a clear pass. And on ClearPass I will be configuring uh, downloadable user role profiles that will be used by the mobility controllers. And once created I can then assign this profile to the switch downloadable user profile. Here's ClearPass. Um, now let me show you the profiles for the static downloadable user roles. So I've got them here. There is four downloadable user roles. Um, so one of the downloadable user roles, this is the um, redirect uh, downloadable user role. Um, I don't have a secondary user role here. So this is for the captive portal redirect um, and, and the captive portal redirect does not support tunneled nodes. So for the redirection you have to use the underlay network. So I'm, I don't have to configure this um, redirect uh, policy uh, profile. Um, so what I need to do is I need to create a um, user role for the mobility controllers and then for the mobility, once created, I can then assign those user roles to the switch uh, downloadable user roles. So let me um, start and create a downloadable user role for the camera. So that's an Aruba downloadable role enforcement. Let's give it a name. Dur, and let's call it mobility controller camera uh, and I have to select the mobility controller here so this is a downloadable uh, profile for a mobility controller and um, so let me move to the role configuration here um, so you can see so I, in, in an earlier video I already uh, created downloadable uh, use, uh, user profiles for the mobility controller with port-based uh, tunneling. So it's, it's very much uh, the same. Um, so what I need to do here is for the camera, uh, I need to assign VLAN 110. And for the, uh, you know, for the ACLs, you can configure all this stuff here. So what I'm going to do for the ACLs, I'm going to just use the allow all ACL. So I, I mean, and, and that's really it for the um, for the downloadable user profile for the mobility controller. Uh, and let me repeat those steps for the uh, guest. So for the authenticated guest, again, that's a downloadable user role enforcement. UBT der MC guest. Um, and again, that's the mobility controller. For the guest, I am using VLAN 100, and you know, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use the allow all ACL. But again, if you want to to configure different ACLs, use your imagination. I would say, okay, save that one, and then a third one for the 802.1x. Uh, so that would be UBT under mobility controller. 1x. Okay, it's very much the same. And for dot 1x, I have VLAN 120 configured. I'm just going to use the allow all. And save. So, so that so these are now the downloadable user profiles for the mobility controller. 
and these are the ones for the switches and then the next step is I'm going to assign those mobility controller downloadable user roles to the switch downloadable user roles and let's start with the camera uh, so role configuration here uh, I need to select the dynamic role type and you can see here the full list of the uh, profiles that I've just created so for the camera I need to assign the Dur MC camera downloadable role and that's I mean and that's really it um, so let me do that for the 802.1x um, the .1x that would be this one and also for the guest dynamic uh, that is this one okay and really that's it for the configuration of the dynamic downloadable user roles it's really really very simple so again you create the downloadable user roles for the mobility controllers and then you assign those uh, pol uh, profiles you assign those profiles to the switch downloadable user role profiles okay so I've connected all the clients um, let me just show the access tracker you can see that the 802.1x client is authenticated I've got my captive portal one here and I have the camera here um, let's move to the switch uh, and so what I will show you is uh, the camera first uh, client 5 detail let me show you what's in there so Mac authenticated and if I scroll a little bit down you can see the secondary user role name is not the name of a user role but it's a uh, asterisk uh, VSA so that means that ClearPass is sending a VSA and that VSA contains the secondary user role name uh, that the mobility controller has to download from ClearPass. Now let me show you the access tracker for the camera and when you see the output you will understand what I mean. Um, so what you see in the tunnel node server redirect command is a VSA and ClearPass sends an additional VSA with the accept response containing the name of the uh, downloadable user role for the mobility controller. And when I check out the mobility controller, you can see for the camera that it's using the MC camera uh, role. So that's the MC camera profile in ClearPass. And for the for the guest and for the 802.1x client, it's exactly the same. So it's using the uh, the downloadable user role that is configured on ClearPass. Now that this is all working, let me move to uh, Wireshark <coughs> and see what's happening on the wire. So the flow that I'm showing you is when the camera is uh, connected. So um, first, so my switch has IP address 250 and my ClearPass has IP address 11. So what you see initially is the radius request here. Um, so I'm connecting to the ClearPass server and then my ClearPass server sends back a response. And in that response you can see you know, you can see some stuff. Some stuff. This, so this is the MAC address of the client. This is the downloadable user role, and this is the VSA that is being sent back by ClearPass. So you can see that's UBT Dur uh, MC Camera 3075-2. And then in the subsequent packets, um, the switch establishes an SSH connection uh, to the ClearPass server and it downloads the user role and then once that's done uh, the switch knows that it has to tell the mobility controller that the mobility controller has to download that user role 
from Clipper. So the switch here, the switch sends a request, a puppy request to uh, the mobility controller. And then, um, so the mobility controller then establishes here um, uh, an SSH session to the ClearPass server and then again in the subsequent packets and then of course this is all encrypted because it's SSH um, so in these packets the uh, the mobility controller downloads the user role from the ClearPass server and then uh, once that's done um, you get a Poppy acknowledgement back to the switch and then when that's done um, so you get this keep alive sequence between the mobility controller and the switch All right so these are keep alive and that's all for now folks but there's still more to come on dynamic segmentation thanks for watching uh, if you like the video and if you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, please let us know. And looking forward to see you on this channel again. Bye for now.